The boy who is performing on stage is named Damien. Although he is a boy, he is playing Snow White. Damien's favorite girl laughed at him when she saw his comical appearance. This caused a lot of damage to his fragile heart. 20 years later, Damien is an ordinary working man. He now has a strong prejudice against women because of his childhood. Damien's biggest hobby is flirting with women because he just wants to show those women what it's like to be played with. Damien believes that it is a woman's responsibility to give birth and cook. Women are worthless in his eyes. One day Damien was coming home from work with his friends. Two beautiful women walked across from him. Damien flirted with them without hesitation, but then he suddenly hit the railing in front of him and fell down. Damien wakes up and is back home, but he felt like something was wrong. The clothes and pants he was wearing had shrunk. He opens his closet and finds his clothes in bright floral patterns. The news on TV is about men fighting for their rights. Damien goes to work the next day, but the office is filled with women. He discovers that his former secretary has now become his boss. Sybil tried to sexually harass Damien while he was crouching down to pick up a pen. Damien cursed and grabbed something from his desk and hit her. Sybil fires Damien immediately. He leaves and comes to the bar, but the bartender doesn't sell the goods because the male customers with heads are sitting in the bar. Damien saw all this and couldn't understand it. He panicked and ran home. To make matters worse, Damien's mother is in the back kitchen doing heavy work. His father was outside the kitchen collecting money. He was discussing with the male customer about how to take care of his skin. When his father sees Damien, he urges him to get married and have children. Damien suspected that something was wrong with him. He went to see a psychiatrist for treatment. Damien doesn't understand what's going on here. When he got out, he rushed to the railing where he had hit him and smashed his head again and again. Damien noticed a few days later that women on the street didn't wear dresses. Women wore suits all day long. The men were also wearing shorts and showing their thighs in a very flirtatious way. Damien understood. In this world, the characteristics and habits of men and women are reversed. Women are the representatives of power. Men have to be soft. Men are the ones who dance on the pole in nightclubs. The men are trying to strike a sexy pose to please the women on stage. One woman even initiates a flirtation with Damien. When they return to the room, the woman who was making out with him saw Damien's thick chest hair. She felt sick and ran away. Damien realized, in this world men must be clean and free of unwanted hair. That day Damien visits his friend Christoph's house. Christoph's wife is pregnant. She suggested Damien to join the Men's Rights Association. She also said that women should be the ones to do the hard work of giving birth. Men are already disadvantaged. Christoph asked Damien to take his place in order to accompany his wife to the birth. And so Damien began his career as a secretary. Damien had to make himself look good. He had to get his nails done, put on a face mask instead of wearing transparent shirts. He wore shorts. Damien also tried to make his buttocks look better. He ended up plucking out all his body hair. Damien had women flirting with him on his way to work. His long, bare, clean legs attracted the attention of many women. Damien then meets his female boss. She is the sexy and unbuttoned Alexandra. Alexandra shows Damien her toned ABS as soon as she meets him. She also shows him her luxury car. Alexandra sees Damien as an underdog. So she lets Damien do the easy work. Damien sees his old self in her. Damien used to objectify women and use them as his own playthings. Alexandra is like the male version of Damien. There are countless men who are willing to go out with her. She goes around having sex with men. Alexandra is like a dominant woman with a flirtatious personality. She also verbally teases Damien from time to time. Damien hates this behavior. He tells Alexandra that the world he lives in is completely different from this one. Alexandra doesn't care and uses his words as inspiration for her writing. She continues to ask Damien out on dates. Damien already knows how Alexandra is. He looked at Alexandra as if he saw himself in the mirror. Later Damien gets used to the rules of the world. He would check that he was dressed properly every time he went out. He worries if he'll make a good impression on the women out there. Damien gradually falls into Alexandra's mom when teen came. Damien is under Alexandra's emotional attack. He's like a pet to the queen. Alexandra takes him to a bar. All the men in the bar are dressed in short skirts. The men's faces are heavily made up. They sang and danced with passion. It was like the only place where men could be themselves. Damien can't help but kiss Alexandra. As they kiss, they discuss which road rules they should live by. Damien has fallen in love. Then a man who had been abandoned by Alexandra comes to the house. Damien learns from the man that Alexandra collects men as if they were objects. Whenever she succeeds in conquering a man, she would put a new marble in the glass on the window. The beads that fill the glass are symbolic of the men. 
that Alexandra has successfully hunted. The men tell Damien that they are all in the same boat. Damien asks Alexandra if he's also a marble in a class, but Alexandra tells him that it's not a game. She wants to have an adult affair with Damien. Damien doesn't believe Alexandra's explanation. He knows too well what she says, because her promises and confessions now are no different from what he said before. In a world where men have to love themselves, Damien has become a victim. In fact, Alexandra had really fallen in love with Damien during her time with him. After a few days of struggling with her thoughts, she decided to woo Damien back. Damien agreed to go out with Alexandra after she made another move and confessed her love for him. They make up and officially announce that they are boyfriend and girlfriend. This time Damien wants to marry Alexandra. Alexandra agrees with him but during a men's rights movement march, Damien met Alexandra's boss. She tells him that Alexandra is actually married. Angry, Damien rushed back to Alexandra's house. He finds Alexandra's marriage certificate. Now Damien has become a third party who interferes in other people's marriages. After the truth is revealed, Damien goes to a bar to drink and get drunk. He is also hit on and flirted with by several women. Alexandra arrives to save Damien. She tells Damien that she's really in love with him. She's willing to divorce her husband for Damien. This time no matter what Alexandra says, Damien won't believe her. Angry, Damien slapped Alexandra in the face. They got into a fight. Both of them hit their heads together and passed out. When Alexandra woke up, she found women on the street wearing shorts and skirts. Posters of women were plastered all over the store windows. Women's sexy red lips were on the windows and billboards. All around her, feminists were marching and gathering. Alexandra is just as frightened as Damien was when he first entered her world. In fact, Alexandra is now in a different world. This is the world Damien spoke of. Here all women must love themselves. The film is a French film from 2018. It is a gender swap satire on macho society. The film's lines are cleverly designed and will give the audience a funny feeling. For example, in order to make a better contrast, the first time the paramedic appears is a woman. The paramedic at the end of the movie is a man. The daily dialogue in the movie makes the audience feel like they're there. The contrast between before and after the ending is deeply shocking. The film does not flirt with male power nor does it satirize female power. It does not promote female privilege, but the gender equality of men and women. Although its male and female characters are simply gender switched, but it can make people think about the status of men and women in modern society. Men and women can be true to themselves, we will realize that equality is the pursuit of many people.